Monday, July the 1st. And uh, it's max out day on the bench. Real quick story. I know I'm soaking wet. I did just finish today's workout, but it's not all because it was hot out. Some of it was because I just did that in a pouring rain. Long story, sometimes I try to get to the box on Sunday. Today, I just kept putting it off and putting it off until eventually I ran out of time. I said the storm won't be here until, and it'll be gone by the time the Phillies game is over, so I'll just watch the end of the game, then I'll do the wad. Of course, the storm waited for me. Not the whole thing, mind you. In the round of 20, the skies opened up and just downpoured, and I couldn't go anywhere else. I'm at my house, and I can't do anything overhead inside. I had to stick it out. Um, Anyway, like I said, it's bench max, benchmark max day. A bench press max day. Still got a wad brain. Um, which just means we're gonna give you 20, 25 minutes and, and uh, you go for singles. There's no more threes, twos, fives, percentages. You're just going for a heavy single today. One single goes well, even with a spot, as long as they didn't touch it, go for it again. All right, or keep going, keep going up the ladder. You know, don't hurt yourself, but uh, but uh, you know, go for it because you guys have really looked good throughout the cycle so far. The workout today, yeah, we're gonna test our strength on the bench press in the form of push-ups again. Uh, the workout, uh, this is a climbing rep scheme. So by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And it's got another, you know, it's got another sort of, uh, it's not a gimmick, but it's something we wanna practice that we haven't practiced much before. And that is uh, dumbbell snatches where you're not allowed to alternate. Whereas most of the time we tell you specifically you're alternating this movement. Today you are specifically not. And that's gonna have, that's gonna play a role in this workout that you are not expecting. Because you can normally hold on for a bigger set of uh, dumbbell snatches because it's a movement we've done so many times at so much volume, but almost always alternating. And you don't realize the boost you get from alternating. Right, if an arm gets tired, well, it gets a break when the other arm is working, and you just go back and forth like that for pretty big sets until both arms get tired. Today, you're gonna put that thing down before you feel like you have to at times, especially in the bigger sets, and you're gonna really wish. It's almost gonna be, it's gonna be uh, like a hard brain obstacle to overcome to not alternate it. You're gonna really feel this like urge to alternate when you don't want to. And that's what we want. That's what we're testing today. That's what we know to be a challenge. Even for us coaches, it's a new a new stimulus for us. And, uh, and, and like see how it goes. Now, if you do the math, it is a bit of a volume today, but hopefully broken up. I found that, yeah, it's true. I didn't want to do, say, even the set of 20 with one arm on the dumbbell snatches, but the set of 20 push-ups took me long enough that I felt recovered enough to go for it. I didn't break up the dumbbell snatch until the round of 25 when I was getting poured on. That's not why I broke it up. I broke it up because I absolutely felt like if I don't, um, then I'm, I'm going to be, if I try to do all 25 on the first arm, then when I get done 25, I'm gonna be so not ready to start the other arm that it won't be worth it. So I, bro I broke both arms up 15 and 10. <sighs> I felt like the right thing to do. Um, <clears throat> Push-ups, put it this way. I never did a set smaller than five and I never did a set bigger than 10. So that was my game plan for chipping away at these today. Am I capable of sets of 20, 25 push-ups? Probably. In this workout, no, I don't think so. Could I have done a set bigger than 10 at points? Yeah, maybe to like 12 or 13, but is it worth it? No, strategy-wise, it's not. And take it from someone with I don't know, almost 13 years of experience in CrossFit, that is the way to go. As hard as it is sometimes to convince yourself of that, it is the better strategy most of the time to break it up before you feel like you have to uh, read into that, break it up before you go to failure, as we often do go to failure on push-ups. So, um, like I said, I think it's a it's a nice mix of things. It's a nice new challenge, stimulus-wise, with the the, uh, the dumbbell snatches, and the push-ups are a bit of a enough of a of a uh, bottleneck to you know maybe give you some time to be able to hold on longer on the dumbbell. Uh, a couple of things, let's just say for these dumbbell snatches, like this is the quarterly reminder, because we do so many of these that we forget to talk specifically about standards sometimes, but I, I catch people, uh, you know, I catch people slacking. Remember, the part of the standard of the dumbbell snatch is that both heads of the dumbbell must touch the ground before each rep, all right? The other thing is, um, 
your off hand that's not working, which will be very obvious which one that is today, can't be touching your body. So it should be out to the side. Um, and then some points of performance that are more about, they're less about standard and more about helping you to achieve bigger sets. <sighs> Ostensibly, the dumbbell snatch is supposed to be a hinge movement. So if you find yourself squatting or if you find yourself uh, bending at the waist and not any at all at the at the legs or hinging at the waist then then you were doing it wrong you want to feel like on the way to the ground you're sending your butt back and hinging and then on the way up you're going big elbow high and outside and extending the hips and helping to drive up so if you're just muscling these you're gonna do less at a time if you use your hinge and your big shrug and and big uh, elbow outside or elbow the guy behind you so to speak then you'll find that you can hang on longer. Grip comes into play a little bit today, not as much as some of the wads we've done over the last couple of weeks. Uh, get all that stuff done. It's a really, really fun fitness day. I will give the disclaimer, my time was 1310. I did not max out the bench because I don't barbell bench press, not often anyway, it hurts my shoulders quite a bit. I did do a strength session on dump with some dumbbells today. So it wasn't like I went into the wad completely fresh. Uh, 1310 was my time, probably pretty competitive. Uh, we're going to cap this one at 20. All right, guys, have a good one.